Wayne O'Keefe here, fishing another estuary this morning and uh, right in the heart of Melbourne. Uh, I'm going for Broom again, one of my favourites. It's a winter's morning, it's about, about 8 degrees, it's, which is pretty good actually because we've had it to around the zero and minus one at times, so no frost, it's actually quite pleasant. The water is uh, just starting at the bottom of the tide, it's just starting to move up now, so I've got uh, about Oh, I don't know, five and a half hours ahead of me of uh, rising tide. Fishing the bottom of the tide is usually, is not the best necessarily, but uh, at least a rising tide and movement of the water is good. I'm fishing very light line today, so I've only got about uh, two and a half kilo line on because the broom lately have been pretty hard to hook, so I have to go find to see if I can actually get into them. And um, I'm using small hooks. Um, I'm using, my baits will be a bit of a combination of things. Um, I've got a little bit of prawn, uh, a little bit of squid just in case they start to sort of pull off at that stuff and also I've got maggots if, uh, if I need to get down super small. So we'll see how we go. I'm hoping that uh, as the tide rises the, the, the bites might improve. I've thrown a bit of burley into two different spots that I'm going to fish across the, the river there, one directly in front of me and one slightly to the right and uh, after building that up a couple of times so throwing a few, a few handfuls of burley, sort of rolling it up into balls and throwing it in I'm hoping that'll bring in the fish into the area. So we'll see how we go. Well, I've been fishing for about an hour and a half. I got absolutely no bites whatsoever, but I continued to cast out to the same spot every time. Uh, luckily, that persistence paid off. I've just just caught this one. Now this guy is not huge by any means, but he uh, it, the fight on it was amazing. Um, so on light line, it really it really feels um, feels like you've got a mile on there when you've got these brim that can turn into the turn into the current. So with that very broad side, putting his fins up, he um, he'll turn into the current and just create a huge amount of resistance. And so for light line, one thing that I do when I'm setting up my terminal tackle, so that's the hook and the weight and everything, is um, I always have a, a burly cage on a running line. So it's like a, a sinker. The, the fish can actually pull the line through that, not feel too much resistance, and therefore be confident in swallowing the bait. The, the thing that uh, can make a big difference though is the distance between your weight and your hook. So. Typically I start off with that at about 45 centimetres and if I'm not getting any bites I lengthen that and the, the way that I do it is I just have this stop here and so instead of having a swivel or anything like that this is just a line stop it's just a barrel a little plastic tube with a pin in it and you push that in squeezes the line and that's where you can um, that's where the the weight will stop so what I can do is I can actually Take that, take that little pin out and move that much further down the line, making the hook length 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters, 90 centimeters, depending on how tentatively the, the fish are biting. So if the fish are really, really touchy, sometimes I've made that as long as a meter and a bit, the distance between the hook and the actual weight of the billy cage so that they, they've got all of this free play with line. They don't feel any resistance whatsoever and feel confident in picking it up. Sometimes if the weight is too close to the hook, the fish will pick it up, feel a little bit of resistance and drop it. So that is a, that made a difference today. I actually extended that distance and that's how I caught that, that fish.